your friends, Rob here at Rob Woods Ministries. I want to offer a prayer for justice for Mr. George Floyd. Obviously, this senseless, senseless tragedy. And first of all, my condolences as a minister of the gospel to Mr. George's parents, mom, dad, family, brothers, sisters, relatives, and people all over the earth that are really grieving such a horrible, horrible tragedy. But I want to assure you, friends, the Lord will make sure where there's injustice, that justice will be brought and served. We know to date, uh, the one cop was already charged. The other three were charged today. So God is bringing justice where there's been injustice. And in the Bible, in the book of Genesis, it says, shall not the judge of the earth do right? So many people get upset sometimes at injustice. There's many injustices throughout the earth. Think of the sex slave trade. Think of kids all over the world and people that have no clean drinking water. I mean, if they drink the dirty water, they're going to die. If they have no water, they're going to die from dehydration. So there's injustice throughout the earth. It'll always be, my friends. But God can and does use people to bring justice where there's been injustice. I'm thinking of the great Martha, Martin Luther King of late who was assassinated, who for many years brought justice where there was injustice so join with me in prayer father i'm just asking you to comfort this man mr floyd's family certainly we're believing his life was not in vain he was a martyr lord for justice you're using george floyd's life where there was injustice to bring injustice in father we're asking for peaceful protests we're asking no rioters to be hurt we're asking no, uh, no one to incite violence or looting or hurt any policemen. There's certainly many good policemen. We hope they outweigh the bad policemen. And friends, I love you as a minister of the Lord Jesus Christ. My also, I have a question. If you were to make heaven, if you were to take your last breath, would you make heaven your home? You see, we're all going to take our last breath one day, my friends. And when you do... Either the elevator goes up to life insurance, that's a place called heaven, or a place that Jesus himself taught about in the Bible called hell. Am I trying to scare the hell out of you? Hopefully for some of you I am. The only way to make you going to have the assurance and insurance that you'll make heaven your home is by having your sins washed by the blood that Jesus shed on that cross, my friends. And tomorrow's promise to no man. And you may say, how long is eternity? Friends, eternity is without measure. You will never die. When you do, you either be with God in heaven or you'll be in a place that Christ taught about in the Bible called hell. Say this simple prayer with me. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to God except for me. God's a God of love. God sent Jesus to die on the cross for your sins. So, it's not in reciting the prayer, it's the faith behind it that triggers and activates God to come live and take residence within you. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross of my sins. Thank you for Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. I repent. Forgive me. And friends, as a minister of the gospel, I want to pray for you. Father, touch people that prayed that prayer. Fill them with your presence, your love, your mercy, your compassion. Desire to subscribe to my ministry channel. Thank you so much. Many of the ministry videos on YouTube, the ones that are over six minutes that young people can use to live victorious in Christ. The Lord loves you. Be blessed in Jesus' name.